everyone, today I'm doing a quick video requested by my lovely friend Ayla from Ayla Avar. And Ayla asked me to show how I made this little furry waistcoat for my Midi Blythe doll. She was in the Winter Blythe collaboration that I did with Tammy from Peacecraft Dolls with Tammy Powley, Marna from Dolls Rescued and Beth from Beth Ramsden and we had to make an outfit for our dolls based on the, the theme winter. So this is my little outfit that I made. So I made her jumper out of a sock, literally just cut it to size. This is the bottom of the sock here. I used a little bit from the bottom of the sock to stitch around the collar to make her a little collar and then the sleeves are just oblongs of material stitched around and stitched across the bottom and then I tucked the ends in to make a hem and then I fitted some press studs on the back. The little jeans I just laid her down like this, drew around a piece of paper, made sure I left a seam allowance and then stitched down the sides, the V in the middle, making sure, you know, not to do it too tight. And then I made it long enough at the top to curl over and put some elastic in and long enough in the leg to turn under to make a hem. So that was how I did those. The hat I made from a baby sock. I turned it inside out, stitched across the heel, as you can see, just stitched straight across there otherwise that would have been stuck out the back of her head. Then I tied a knot in the top, made sewed a little button on and popped it on her head. That's a baby sock and it fits her head beautifully. And you can do the same thing with a child or adult sock for the bigger size Blythes. So back to this furry waistcoat, I'm gonna call it. I think you would, in the US, you call it a vest. So it, it is literally a rectangle of fabric. So I laid her down like this. I'm gonna do this one in different fabric. I'm gonna do it in this cow print fabric. So I laid her down like this. I measured, let's see if that's gonna be, how far can I go this way? until it's long enough. They're funny shaped bits, they're off cuts that I bought on eBay. So it needs to come around to the front here. Yeah, that'll be okay. I'm going to trim that bit off there because it's a bit, um, it's too short for what I need that is. So I'll trim that bit off. I need it to wrap around to there. That's a little bit too far. We'll go back a bit further, oh, utter across, utter across like so. And then I need the same from that side. So I'm going to cut it to about there. So it's, it's not very scientific. I'm, you know, science doesn't come into it when, when I'm making something. Yeah, so that's what I want. And I'm going to cut that up there like that. And this fur, there's no edging or anything on it. I haven't edged edged the little um, thing that I made and then I need to cut it the same length the whole way across so I'm going to cut this straight down here and then we need to find where her arms are layer on like that her arms will go through and then we'll fold it over like that. So about there. So let's put a pin in there. Let's check that's right. Yeah, and then a pin, the same on the other side. So to do that, I'll just put it like this and pop a pin in to match the other side like so. I 
and then we need to cut where those pins are. We need to cut far enough down for her arms to go through. I've actually cut that up. That's a bit wonky at the edge there. I need to, oh no, it's all right. It's just, it's me. This is this side that's wonky. Just need to trim that little bit off there. Right, so the next thing we do is cut down here. Cut down about three quarters of an inch to an inch. Doesn't matter if it's a bit, a bit big, it won't matter. Same on this side. Yeah, and then I'm going to shape the front a bit. So put the right sides together, tuck your fur in or else it'll all be chopped off when you trim it. Tuck your fur in like this before you cut it. And I'm just going to shape the front of the waistcoat or vest a bit so I'm just going to cut it a curve in there you don't have to do that bit if you don't want to but that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to cut a little bit of a, a curve in there there we are and then the next thing we do is stitch across here fold your waistcoat inside out make sure you tuck your fur down and then you literally just over stitch across here on each side. So let me get a needle and thread. So join your front and back together and just literally pop a few stitches in it to hold it together. Make sure, as I say, make sure you tuck your fur in and then you won't see the seam on the other side. Same on the other side. Line it up. Tuck your fur in. A few over stitches in there like that. So it can be made to fit any size doll, just measure it the same as I did, you know, wrap it round your doll, work out where the arms are, cut far enough down so it comes to a, to the armpit of the doll and then just match the back and the front up and over stitch to make the shoulders. Right. And then it's ready to wear. Pop her arms in. This is more like a coat on her, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really long one. So we can tuck her in like that. You could make her a little belt with some ribbon. You can cut it shorter if you want to. I'm going to leave it long, I think. She looks so cosy in that, doesn't she? So there we go, Ayla. I hope that was helpful. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.